A lot of caveats there, Charlie. Stay with us. Let's talk Tesla. Hitting a 52-week high, 52-week low, I should say, today. And then edged a little bit higher. It's actually now in the green, bucking the overall downtrend. But it has been a big underperformer in the last few weeks. Elon Musk revealing in an SEC filing he recently sold another 22 million shares of Tesla valued at about $3.5 billion. Let's bring in Wedbush research analyst Dan Ives. Your note getting a lot of attention today, Dan, because you think this is a really big issue for Tesla. Does it change your view of the stock? Look, we're still bullish long term on the Tesla story. But, Sarah, I mean, Musk is essentially using Tesla as his own ATM machine, you know, to fund Twitter and the losses. And it's really been a boy that cried wolf. I mean, continuing to say that he's done selling, yet you continue to see Form 4s. And this has really been a black eye for Musk in terms of the overall Twitter situation. And it's cast a massive shadow on Tesla. And I think the clock struck midnight. Investors are frustration building. So why are you maintaining outperform? Because on the fundamental thesis, my view of where Tesla goes in terms of one of the most transformational names in electric vehicles. I think fundamentally, the stock's oversold in terms of where this thing could go in terms of 2023. But in the near term, it's a Musk-driven sell-off. We didn't have 75, 80 percent of the sell-off here. And now it's about course correcting. But I think it's a moment of truth for Musk and the board to, to ultimately get through this, because this has just been a train wreck situation that continues to get worse. What is the fix for it? He owns Twitter now. He's focused on Twitter. Well, I think that's a big part of the problem, because right now the attention's focused on Twitter, not Tesla, but also in terms of selling stock. I mean, it's $40 billion over the last year. Come out with some sort of 10B5 plan. Communicate what those sales are going to be like. Need to be more transparent. And that's why this has just been agita for investors in a risk-off market. And I think Musk has really gone, in, in the odds of many investors, from a superhero it's almost a villain on Wall Street, and that's really something that he needs to turn around pretty quickly here. I, I guess what I'm wondering is, is, is that overstated? In other words, is there a real fundamental risk besides, you know, selling Tesla, which that's a real risk, and not paying attention as much? When, when it's been widely reported that he has key deputies in place running this, do you actually think it's going to affect the sale of Tesla vehicles, the, the supply of Tesla vehicles, any of the things that actually make this company valuable to you in the long term? I mean, brand deterioration from Musk is brand deterioration for Tesla. And I think that's part of the problem. The Twitter circus show is having an impact, we believe, on the brand of Tesla. And that's part of the problem. That's why this spider web continues to get worse. And I think there's real risk here if he does not course correct. And I think that's why you know, this has just really been a black cloud over the Tesla story that with every Form 4 gets worse and every tweet gets worse. And I think that's part of the problem. But you're not taking down your numbers. Yeah, because right now, fundamentally, I still think we could look at a 430,000, 440, Q4. But no doubt, in the near term, if this does not course correct, then ultimately this really does potentially change the Tesla story. And that's why you know, I think this is really what I view as a fork in the yeah. road time for Musk. So you're nervous about it. Dan, thank you for joining me to discuss. Thank you. Appreciate it.